Hi, Dr. Chris Heimlich, DC here. And one of the questions I seem to always get asked is, what caused my fibromyalgia? Honestly, there's no single cause for fibromyalgia. Although we know the research shows it's a neurological problem, there are many factors that contribute. For most doctors, it's a diagnosis just given when, hey, man, I ran out of options. It's, in reality, it, it, this fibromyalgia, it's a syndrome or a name that describes a group of symptoms. Now, before I go any further, I don't mean to imply that the pain, fatigue, insomnia, or all the other symptoms aren't real, not at all. My position has always been there's something wrong, definitely wrong, and we gotta look hard enough to find out what that is, get the body to heal itself back up. I mean, we can create some phenomenal outcomes with these fibromyalgia patients. You know, I wanna share a story of one of our patients who flew in to see us, and her daughter had found us on the internet, and. Her daughter was suffering fibromyalgia as well. And said, hey, mom, come on. I think I found someone who can help us out. Um, and this lady, she's looking for real answers, not just more pills. Um, and I don't mean to, do, to demean or put down anyone uh, who, who's taking medication to create some resemblance of normalcy. I mean, but, but those things, they do create long-term side effects. And they never address the source of the problem. So anything that's going to make you... Um, things more bearable in the short term, man, those are often necessary, and I realize that. You've got to get through the day. Now, certainly, though, just getting through the day, that can't be a long-term goal. So let me tell you about this particular patient I had the pleasure of uh, being able to work with. At the onset, uh, after reviewing her, uh, her case history and reviewing the different uh, stuff that she had done over the years, we decided there was a very likely number of metabolic underpinnings that lied at the root of her pain. Uh, so we agreed to run some laboratory tests that would give us uh, some great information about her condition in addition to what we found on her neurological examination evaluation. So what did we find? Well, they had several significant findings on her blood test as well as her stool test. Now, we don't arbitrarily just do a bunch of these tests. Um, in this case, the history necessitated that these tests be ordered. There were definitely a lot of things wrong with her body that were specific and that led us to a very specific action steps to change her life for the better in a very profound way. Now, after reviewing the results, she was actually a little bit angry. Not, not at myself, thank goodness. She was angry at the, uh, the medical system that had pushed pills and Band-Aids on her and never really worked for her. I mean, when you're dealing with something for 30 years, you're having doctors told you, you know, hey, take this goofball or that, you, you know, you're crazy, you get frustrated. So uh, you never really get the answer that you're looking for. You get jaded, you get angry. So we were fortunate enough to be able to help her get her life back, get her body to heal itself. So give her what she called her normal life. And I'm happy to say we're also able to help her daughter rid herself of her fibromyalgia as well. And although I haven't seen either of those ladies for several years, uh, the mom, she still emails me funny emails and different things, uh, Christmas cards and whatnot, to let me know that she's still doing great. That even though she hasn't been doing any more active treatment for the last couple of years, she's still reaping the benefits of it. So there's hope out there. There's some things that you can do to change your life for the good, for the, to give you back a life. I'm Dr. Heimlich. Thank you very much.